Okay, so today's discussion is 215 case largest element in a array. Uh, we want to return the case the largest element in an unsorted array. And it's uh, the question is asking for the case largest element in a sorted order, not the case distinct element. So um, basically, if we can sort it, uh, we just take the uh, case element from the right. Uh, that's the number we want to return. But uh, for this type of question, like a case largest, the case smallest, the top k or smallest k, uh, this is similar to a question that I did. Like um, I think it's more about about a weeks ago. That a week ago, uh, the I'll put a link over up there. That's the that the question is the uh, case closest uh, points towards the origin. Um, that, that it's exactly the same type of question and. Uh, they're typically the interviewer. I guess they are looking for two kinds of question uh, solutions. One is uh, priority queue. Uh, you maintain a size k uh, priority queue throughout uh, the when you iterating over the uh, whole array. So and use the priority queue to keep track of the current uh, k uh, top k largest uh, elements that uh, you are you currently scanned through yet uh, so far. And in the end, you just return the, um, you know the, uh, you know the first element in the priority queue. That's the smallest. Uh, if you're using a, a main priority queue, that's the smallest one on the priority queue, which is uh, just so happens to be the case largest. And uh, for that method, it would be uh, the time complexity is n log k, uh, m being the number of elements in the array, and k is the this uh, uh, k here. Uh, the The reason for that is uh, you have to maintain a size k priority queue, and the operations uh, on that priority queue uh, is log k. Whether you want to pop up pop up an element or you want to push something onto it, that's uh, log k. So the uh, the time complexity is n log k. Uh, but uh, it's actually lower than that because for a lot of the numbers, when you compare that with the uh, zeros, uh, you know, first uh, element on the priority queue, you, you can already d determine whether you want to do this uh, heap operation or not. So um, uh, unless you, uh, you you are working on uh, monotonically, uh, I guess, increasing array, that that's the worst the case. You you have to. Uh, pretty much uh, do the operations uh, every time you see uh, in either each iteration. Uh, uh, otherwise, um, you wouldn't actually do anything to the uh, heap. You just compare the, just do a compare, and you can figure out. Uh, uh, you use a lot of the times you actually don't need to do that. So n log k is the upper bound. Worst in the case, and for the space complexity, it's uh, it's uh, k. Uh, that's the size of the priority, uh, you know, the priority queue. The other method is the quick select. Basically, it's using the uh, partition operation from quick sort, and uh, you just uh, do that multiple rounds partition on, until that uh, you uh, the elements are that being uh, you and you the element ended up uh, exactly at the, the uh, case to the right location, you know. Um, when that happens, you just return that number. Uh, that's the uh, quick select. The best scenario for that uh, method is uh, it's linear. It's the order of n. Uh, it's a, it, it's pretty much two n, um, but job constants. Uh, the worst case is quadratic. So. Um, I, I like the you know if you want a, a further more detailed analysis you can you know check on the uh, case closest to points to origin that's uh, that's the that that video contains more detailed explanation my personal uh, feeling that uh, if if you want to sort this uh, do this question it's usually you can you can ask them if the unsorted array it uh, or, whether it's a, a stream of uh, numbers, in that case, you would almost all be sure that uh, if they say it's a string, they they're definitely looking for a priority queue. So um, yeah, so uh, for this question today, I'm just gonna code the priority queue one. Uh, 
the quick select and, and you can go to the uh, video and, and look at that it's it's gonna be pretty similar so yeah because this this question is just asking for the value uh, the, uh, just comparing the value directly the, and it's asking for the largest and not the smallest the code is gonna be extremely simple with prior to uh, so we're initializing the priority queue to be empty and uh, for each number in the uh, array if we haven't uh, meet the capacity of the priority queue yet um, less than k uh, we always gonna push the element onto the priority queue so that's uh, heap queue dot heap push um, pq num if uh, otherwise if uh, we do this uh, check whether the current number is larger than the uh, smallest of the top k we currently know so far if that's the case uh, we're just gonna do a heap replace which is equivalent to uh, pop this number and push this onto the prior queue and at the same time maintain the heap, heap ordering in the end, we just return the, uh, you know, the this number. Uh, it's guaranteed to be the one that we're looking for. So, yeah, this uh, this passes the judge and uh, uh, pretty fast. Uh, uh, a little bit, a little bit uh, uh, bad on the um, space because this does have to require some. I, I really don't know. This 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 is almost a constant uh, for you know reasonable small k. Um, yeah, for quick select, if you do in place swaps, um, modifying the elements within the DOMs, it's a constant uh, constant space and uh, linear time, um, best of time. But that one is uh, unless they are really looking for that. Uh, I think the heap one would just do fine in for most the. Uh, uh, code interview purposes. So yeah, if you're interested in quick select, um, go check out that video or look up uh, other so, uh, you know articles uh, explaining quick select. Um, so yeah, that's uh, the short video question for today.